hello guys and welcome back to my channel firewall gyan today we are going to discuss palo alto firewalls packet flow packet sequence please watch this video till the end because i have explained packet flow in very simple way i have tried to explain each and every stages of the packet flow in very simplistic manner and i am sure you won't be able to get this much detail in any other documentation so let's begin when packet pass through nic or passes ingress stage palo alto inspection module inspect the packet it calculate details like source ip destination ip source port destination port protocols sequence number and these details store in internal tables called connection tables then packets are match to the different firewall stages then packets are match to the different firewalls stages below are the different stages checked stage 1 source zone in source zone check firewall determines from which zone packet is coming in palo alto firewalls are zone based firewalls zones designate a network segment that has similar security classifications the firewall security model is focused on evaluating traffic as it passes from the zone to another zone why zones are required zones are required to control and log the traffic that travels the interfaces all zones are defined for specific interface types and can be assigned to multiple interfaces of the same type only also note an interface can be assigned only to one zone one zone once zone checked then packet checks again the zone or ddos protections if any zone or ddos protection profile exist for that given zone or a ddos template the packet is subject to evaluate based on the profile configuration after the zone or ddos protection checked the packet is checked for forwarding lookups policy based forwarding we know normally the firewall uses the destination ip address in a packet to determine the outgoing interface and firewall uses the routing table associated with the virtual router to which the interface is connected to perform the route lookup policy based forwarding allows you to override the routing table and specify the outgoing or outbound interface based on specific parameters such as source or destination ip address or type of traffic once the packet checks again the forwarding lookup pbf then checked for destination zone and also check if destination net is needed destination net is performed on incoming packets when the firewall translate a destination address to different destination address for example it translate a public destination address to private destination address and then packet checks again policy if packet is destined or denied and based on these details packet is assigned a session id this is pre checks for all those packets which are new or who do not match an existing session id next stage are checked against the existing session id or policy uh, packets first it checks against app id content id and user id app id content id engine can evaluate applications behavior characteristics and their relative risk application and application functions and contents are identified via multiple techniques including application signatures and based on this inspection packets payload checked 
if the packets are encrypted then the decryption policy is applied to decrypt that packet and then again send to app id contain id inspection for possible threat or abnormal behavioral detection once all this verification performed then packet checks against the security profiles whichever we configure for that traffic security profiles such as antivirus vulnerability protection anti spyware your filtering wildfire profiles all these verifications are performed on decrypted packets once all this verification got performed the packet is re-encrypted and forwarded to the respective interfaces to the outbound or to the tcp ip stack this is how the packet flows in a parallel to firewall so guys uh, this is all about the packet flow if you like this video and if you found this information informative so please subscribe my channel and i will see you in the next video have a good day